I have the Samsung Galaxy S24 and I'll be showing you how to set up and use text to speech so that your phone can read out stuff for you aloud. It could be web pages, it could be the main menus, anything you want. You could have your phone read out to you using the accessibility feature. So what you want to do is first go to the Google Play Store and in the Google Play Store you want to install the Android accessibility suite. Okay, so this is what you're looking for. It's officially a Google app. You can see it's by Google LLC. So go ahead and install the Android accessibility suite. Now with the app installed, you'll notice there's no open button because this app can only be accessed via the accessibility settings. So go to your phone's settings. Let me just turn off uh, night mode. There you go. So I've just turned off dark mode so we can clearly see what you're doing. So once you install the app, you can now go to accessibility through the settings. And under accessibility, go to installed apps, tap on that. Tap on select to speak. And then you want to enable select to speak shortcut. Now, once you enable that, and confirm by tapping on allow. You'll have to choose, uh, tap the accessibility button to enable select to speak, or I mean, uh, text to speech. Now you can choose either between a button right here in the corner, or you can choose to press side and volume up buttons, or you can pr choose to press and hold volume up and volume down buttons for three seconds. Now, personally, I prefer to use the accessibility button. So I'll choose that and then tap okay. And now you'll notice we have an accessibility button in the bottom right corner of the screen. So you want to now go back and back and back all the way to the home screen. And you'll always have this uh, text to speech accessibility button in the bottom right corner of your screen. Now let's go ahead and open a web page and see if it's going to read for us. Okay. So I have a, this page on Quora, for instance. And if I tap on this button, it's going to start preparing. And then I can tap on this to expand it. And then we have a couple of settings here. So if I go to settings, we have the text to speech settings. You can change the voice that reads for you. So you can tap here, uh, choose the preferred engine. Now you have the Samsung engine and the Google engine. Now, personally, I prefer Google engine because I know it's more rich and more, uh, Google basically has a bigger knowledge base than Samsung. But that's really up to you. And then you have the language you can choose. I'm going to choose system language, which is basically my phone's language. You can change the language if you want to. You can also change the speech rate, which is the speed at which the feature reads for you. And then you have, uh, you can change the pitch of the voice, anything you want. Okay, and you can just- This is an example of speech synthesis in English. You have that live uh, preview there. And anyway, once you do all that, you can now choose a couple of things. Do you want it to read in the background? That means you can open a web page, begin uh, speech uh, text to speech, and as it's reading, you can exit and have it ready, ready to you in the background. So if you want that, you can enable that or you can leave it disabled. Again, that's personal preference. Read text on images. Again, that's personal preference. I prefer to leave, to leave that off. So let's go ahead and do this, okay? So we have this web page. I want this phone to read for me. I'll tap on that and I'll tap on play. www.cora, open in app, sign in. What happens if you drive with a flashing battery light in your dashboard? All related, 35. Recommended, hide. Profile photo for Buzz Davies. Buzz Davies. Former I have been inside a nuclear reactor. Author has 859 answers and 635.8k answer views. August 28th. My guess is that you have a defective alternator and you won't be driving very far before. So basically it's going to read for you the entire page and it's good for reading for you articles, especially in websites that are not as complicated as this one. 
And if you have maybe someone sends you a Google Docs document, you can have it read for you. And especially if you go to the settings and enable the reading background, you can have it read while uh, you're basically in the background. So let's we'll bring it up. Navigate up. Select to speak setting. And it reads literally anything, even the settings menu on your phone. And that is basically how to uh, set up and use the text to speech feature on your Samsung Galaxy S24. Thanks for watching. Comments and questions down below and good luck.